He says, Come and Eddie, Africa. Tell to me nice. Tell me nice, I'll pull up and I'll come through. Tell me nice. Tell me nice, I'll pull up and I'll come through. Einigkeit und Recht und Freiheit für das deutsche Vaterland. Is that how long it is? No, wow. just the first verse or something. Wow. What an opening to the greatest podcast of all time. Welcome back to Talk To Me Nice. This is the Blues Podcast brought to you by Buffer and Thompson. Thank you very much for, for hosting and presenting the show, guys. Uh, I am joined by very two, very, very handsome, two handsome individuals over here. It is Anton Signa and Caleb Clark. Welcome to the podcast, team. Thanks. Thanks, Tony. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. So, we are in week three of Queenstown. First question is, how are you guys feeling down here? Uh, you, you enjoying yourselves? Yeah, you know, ready to get in some some rugby? Worst place to be, isn't it? Did you say worst series? place to be? Worst. There's like worst places <laughs> to be. There is worst. This is true. <laughs> there, there certainly are no, worst places. Beautiful. Weather's been holding up all right, so mm. boys are in a good mood. So Why All going that? good. Yeah, and how about you, Mr. Caleb? Uh, loving it, eh? Enjoying it. Um, pretty cool getting to see the sights and yeah, first time to Queenstown. And I'm loving it, loving it. Um, so obviously no no game last week, uh, but we're heading into our first game uh, this weekend. Uh, both of you have been named in the team. Uh, what, what are we looking forward to in terms of that? I'm looking forward for Anton. I'm also uh, looking forward yeah. to Anton. Anton. I'm looking I'm forward to Anton looking getting at on the field Anton. and playing. Yeah. Forward to some fast footy rugby. Mm. Yeah. You got to talk into the mic, my oh. friend. Otherwise, the people can't hear you, and the people want to hear you. Yeah. Well, we're under the roof, so looking forward to some fast running rugby. Mm. Especially when Caleb gets his wheels out, it'll be good. Mm-hmm. And the four-hour bus trip there should be good too. Mm-hmm. Oh, very nice, Caleb. For you, first game and first full proper rugby professional game in mm. a very, very, very long time. Um, can you tell me what have you been doing over the last couple of months? I can hear some Harleys in the background. Do you know exactly what bike that is? Um, Harley Davidson. Uh, from the engine, sound like a... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, no, I'm really looking forward for a day. Um, it's been since May of last year, since my last professional 15s game. And so um, over this last few bits, I try to have a crack at sevens. Um, oh, in between now and then, I try to play sevens and, um, you know my hand out to try and play in the Olympics. I didn't get there in the end, but I got to go as a travelling reserve, which um, I was real grateful for. Um, and yeah, sort of through that, after that lockdown happened in Auckland, um, and then yeah, now we're, we're finally here. So, so a- out of those it. eight or nine months you've been out, out of the blues, how many of those months have been in lockdown? I think a solid four, five. That's tough. So I probably had one full month of lockdown or like quarantine in Japan. Um, since I was a traveling reserve, I was stuck inside yep. a hotel for two weeks. Couldn't leave it. Um, and then once we finished that, we went straight back into a normal quarantine um, in Christchurch. So I was just stuck in my room um, down there. And then first day out of lo- uh, out of quarantine, lockdown started. And so, and lockdown was from however long it was last year. And yeah. So a good chunk of it. I'm tired mm. of these lockdowns, eh? Me too. So, and you, Mr. Anton, first first game for the Blues. This is your first Super Rugby cap. It is. Yay. Wow, you must, be, you must be very excited for the weekend. Um, so how how has your process been to coming into this camp? How do you feel about the team and all the boys? Have they welcomed you with open arms? How's it been for you? Yeah, man, 100%. Nah, it's a good bunch of la- lads, so we're really at home here. Mm. Strong sense of belonging, so it's been good. Fortunately, in that first preseason game against the Canes, I'd Tweak my MCL a little bit, but back, back, back to Hundy now, so it's good. I like that, stronger than ever. Yeah, it's been good. Recovering in Queenstown, it's good. Rehabbing, strong now. Yeah, so you are you are new to the team. Um, so why don't you give us a little bit of a background on yourself? I know you came from um, old, old Germany. You came over from Germany, so Puts why don't you tell us where, where you're from over there, and uh, w- when you came to New Zealand and all that? Yeah, I'm from. Frankfurt, Germany, to be um, specific, um, went to an English-speaking school um, over there. So I had two two of my close mates at school. They actually um, came from England, so they mm. introduced me to the sport. And then um, after um, playing it a few times at their house and then at school as well, I really got 
into the sport and obviously the contact um, side of things as well because back then I was about nine years, nine or ten years old. And I was a big boy, probably the same size I am now. <laughs> um, so small. No. <laughs> small <laughs> no. Everyone's yeah. small to you, Caleb. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, then joined the local rugby club and um, SC 1880 Frankfurt. Yeah. And we're SC. lucky enough to have a guy there um, who who brings over about a handful of Kiwis every year um, to coach the youth teams. And one of those men was um, Tim Manawatu, who I now see as like a mentor for myself. And in 2016, he got a job at the Tasman Rugby Union. And then he start, he, he texted me and said, oh, you should have a crack at playing for um, Nelson, the first 15 of, from Nelson College. And um, I was keen because I was in love with the sport and I was in love with New Zealand and the All Blacks and whatnot. So 2017, um, came over here. That was my year 11 at Nelson College. Yeah. 2017 was my first year here, played first 15, um, enjoyed it, came back the next year and the year after that, which was my year 13, and then, yeah, stayed on. Oh, yeah. Is, is it a, a desire for you to sort of bring that game back to your homeland, or is it is it you're kind of a, a Kiwi now and you're, you're here for that? Well, my focus at the moment is, is obviously here, and yes. especially with the Blues, so mm. happy to be here. I'm grateful to be here, but I, I know that... Um, People over in Germany are watching, and yep. especially young, aspiring rugby players. So hopefully with what I'm doing over here can inspire some other players back in Germany um, to come over and have a crack at the same thing. So hey? Oh, yeah. Yeah, do you, do you have a Guten Tag. for Germany? All of Germany. <laughs> the, the, entire, the entire country. The entire All country? Um, not for the entire country. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's a bit... What would you say to aspiring intense. young players in your native tongue? The inspiring young players, um, ich würde einfach sagen, weiterhin hart arbeiten, ähm, hab Spaß beim Rugby spielen und ähm, ja, glaubt an eure Träume und kommt nach Neuseeland, wenn, wenn das einer von euren Träumen ist. So translation, he said, Guten Tag. just make sure you're working hard, uh, don't give up on your dreams and um, come to New Zealand when you're ready and... Uh, what else did you say? That's actually pretty close. Oh, see, oh, I'm pretty, pretty much close. German. I hang out. With, I hang out with you too much. <laughs> <laughs> so you two, I've noticed you guys uh, have become quite quite buddy buddy. Where where, where did this uh, friendship blossom, and where, where did that one come from? I don't know. I remember like the first time I saw Antoine, which was what the first day we came in, first day in camp, and I was like to one of the boys, "Is that Antoine?" <laughs> and they're like, yeah, and I was like, holy moly, he's tall. <laughs> I walked up to him, I was like, hey, bro, <laughs> you're a tall ass. But no, I don't know. Like, for me, I sort of like to gravitate towards people that are sort of similar to myself, just real cheerful and like always happy to help out, always happy to just be around people. And um, so it's sort of like Anton, that's sort of what I like to sort of hang around him and always crack up when he's around. I don't know why you hang out with me, but. <laughs> <laughs> Neither, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. Oh, that was good. <laughs> I, I I remember you coming up to me actually, oh, yeah. um, on the first day, and I was a bit shocked. Day, eh? was like, "Oh, superstar!" Oh, mm, superstar! Yeah, <laughs> oh, Caleb. <laughs> you know, Caleb he's a nice guy. Yeah, he's pretty Fun nice. To be oh, around. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I heard last night you were you, you were you were told that you're going to be in the team, uh, and so on. Can you can you tell me how how that process happened? How yeah, well, it was kind of. Out of nowhere, really, because at the start of the week, like, I was talking to the physios and stuff, and we were sort of touch and go about whether or not I'd be fit to play with my knee. And um, up until dinner last night, there was the um, same discussion, and then I saw um, Aki come in with his injury, <laughs> and then I was like, oh, what has he done? Like, it looks more serious than, than what it originally um, seemed to be, and he, and he just told me about it. I'm still extremely gutted for him, and then at the dinner table, I was having dinner with um, a few of the boys, and then Rangi comes up to me, taps me on my shoulder, and says, "Oh, you're on the bench." And I was like, "Oh, <laughs> here we go." Oh, <laughs> what hold a on. Hey, man. <laughs> you're on the bench. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was literally like that, and I was like, "Oh God, here we go." <laughs> but nah, taking the opportunity with open arms, grateful for yeah, it. I'm very, very excited for you. I, th I think it'll be, it'll be cool because it's like a bunch of bunch of players, all the Auckland boys, all the Harbour boys, or. One one harbour boy? One possible harbour boy who hasn't played rugby in a very long time. One German boy. One German boy. Counties boys haven't been in for a while, so it'll be kind of good to all tussle and, and tangle on the rugby field. I'm very excited to see you guys out there. We've been uh, we've been given a few words that um, in most languages sound sound fun and happy. 
and I want to know what these language, these words, these specific words sound like in German. So, mm. in Two. English, where do we have in English? The Just word before we start, this my German's not squeaky clean at the moment because I haven't spoken it in a while. But hey. Guten Tag today. That's okay. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Okay. Good. In Good. in Good. English, it is speed limit. Speed limit. What is that word in German? Geschwindigkeitsbegrenzung. <laughs> is that right? Have you got it there? I think that's what I think that's. Yep. There I I, I got the G and the and the G at the end. Yes. <coughs> Geschwindigkeitsbegrenzung. Geschwindigkeitsbegrenzung. What a language. It's a long language. word, actually. All right. It. Speed limit, Geschwindigkeitsbegrenzung. Rubber duck. Creature yeah. engine. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Can you say it again? Creature engine. Creature engine. Creature engine. I want to know why you guys Creature are always engine. so aggressive. Why are all your words very aggressive? Um, wouldn't say aggressive. We're we're straight to the point. Mm. Strong. Mm. Yeah, exactly. strong. Strong. Straight to the point. Strong. Straight to the point. There's mm. no bloody no room for kindness. Whoa. Oh, yes. Whoa. Ouch. Not at all. Oh, of course, there's always. <laughs> <laughs> and one more butterfly. The nicest, probably one of the most, yeah. the nicest words this in English. This one's a popular show. one. Schmetterling. <laughs> Schmetterling. 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 Butterfly. Schmetterling. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. German language. I, I was talking to, to Hot Dog, Marcel Renato, before, and he was saying that you were teaching him some German and maybe the forwards were, were going to do some, some calls in German this year. Yeah, we're Ooh. planning on doing a line-out calls in German because that oh, yeah. way the rest of it, because I don't think there's another German in... In, um, in, in, in all all they're gonna like if they watch our podcast and if they do they're good on them if they watch our podcast now they're gonna know that our calls will be in German I still can't understand it though can they it w- it'll be sounds that they've never heard before <laughs> it'll be schmetterling yeah like, like, <laughs> like yeah, f- for example that could well, be one of our calls schmetterling <laughs> schmetterling go straight up on Romano it's a <laughs> now they know <laughs> no. I mean Romano is reminiscent of a butterfly so yeah I reckon <laughs> Floats like one See Light on his feet up there? Yeah, light on his feet These yeah. boys So we're down here in Queenstown um, So who are you guys rooming with And tell me how it's been In the last couple of weeks Rooming with uh, whoever you're with I'm with um, Tame Plum Tame Plum Tree There you go <laughs> Tame Plum um, Tree TP He's all good He's a uh, um, oh, not Another very nice Very <laughs> nice and, and, and kind man And I get to use his PlayStation Which is which is the big bonus for me because oh, I don't, you been playing I don't on have PlayStation? one at home. So. Oh, I've been playing a bit of, bit of golf against him, actually. Oh. Quite a bit. A bit of golf. On the play play golf? On the PlayStation, I do in real life, not really. Um, <laughs> and then a bit, bit of Call of Duty. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, Any Fortnite in the there? No, nah, no Fortnite. Oh, stink. And, and you, Caleb, who have you been with? Um, I've been with uh, Roger, Roger Tuivasa oh. um, does he Does he just, like, step in his sleep? Oh, he sleep. He talks in his sleep. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's um he's been all good. He's he's a real sharp shooter. Like he's he's real professional. Yes. Um, like for me personally, I love like treats. I love like eating ice cream, lollies, whatever, chocolate. Um, but he's like the complete opposite. And so like I don't want to annoy him, so I don't do it as well. But <laughs> bro, like I love red licorice. I can't get it. I can't eat it. Uh, yeah, are you sneaking away? Oh. I don't know about sneaking away, like, I like walk on ice whenever I want to do something bad with him, but, you know, it's like Bambi on ice, always so falling over. Yeah. I feel like Roger's got, like, a, a sneaky side where he's... Where nah. he's, like, <laughs> he, he, he's real good, he's real good, like, we had cookies the other day, but, like, that's his, that's his treat, but it was, like, another time, bro, he goes, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to have, like, a cheat meal, and I was like... Yeah, like in my head, like yes, yes. This is it. It's been two weeks. Been eating clean. Yeah, and then he walks in with like granola, <laughs> and I was like, what the heck, bro? I was like, bro, relax. <laughs> Just have some ice cream. Take it easy. I want pancakes in the morning. Yeah, exactly. But nah, it's, it's been good though. He's real good. I've noticed that you and you and his friendship has quite quite blossomed over the last couple of weeks. Mm. Um, did that start when he was first sort of announced, or you knew him before this? And uh, I kind of knew him before, like everything, like he sort of came to the blues, like a bit of Warriors, we, we knew each other, um, but I think over lockdown that's when we started hanging out a lot more, um, I've always had like a, a friendship with his younger brother Johnny, 
Um, and so during lockdown, when he sort of saw uh, myself and Danny Tositala training together, um, and that was our bubble because I was um, staying with them. Uh, once that picnic rule sort of happened, we sort of met up and started training um, together as a three, and then Johnny would come as well, who stays with Roger. And so we just sort of started from there, which was early lockdown, and then um, since here. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah ever since sort of like lockdown that's when we've been real close and I've got to know his family really well um like all his siblings um they've just been real cool um sort of taking me in and um you know, like treating me like family as well it's been real cool to to be a part of all of that is there anything that sort of training around him mm. that that's kind of brought to your game or you think that yeah. we're going to be a bit different this year well like yeah, like everyone knows, yeah, exactly. Like everyone knows his step, yeah. And um, training with him, like I've been step, I can, I've, I swear, every training session I get stepped at least twice, and sort of that sort of helped me um, with my game in terms of sort of marking someone that steps a lot, um, knowing the cues and seeing what to look for. But then at the same time, it's worked on my footwork as well. Um, I'm not just like a crash and bash sort of player. Um, I can use that footwork, use a fend. Um, but with him, he's real situational he loves to train um specific situations that he knows will happen in a game and so we think like back to lockdown we did like four or five hour sessions just on the field because he wanted to go through so many different things and yeah it's been like it's been real cool though yeah so i guess you, you've you've brought that the rugby knowledge mm. the the all that kind of stuff and he's brought the the kind of running at someone knowledge yeah. i guess you yeah. know and, and how, how to beat a defender and Definitely. kind of yeah. And I think it's like brought out sort of my competitive side as well. Like he's real competitive and oh, I've noticed. Um, like it's been mean just to like run next to him and then um, sort of get that scrubbed off as well. So now like in training sessions, it might not even be with him, but I'll be like real competing hard. Um, there'll be times in training where me and him will just start talking smack to each other because we just get so heated and that's sort of how it was normally in lockdown. We'd like just get heated at each other, but yeah. Um, now we can do it on a bigger scale, so, yeah. Good question. But well, before I ask this, I want to ask, do you, do you sort of have, like, a, I know you're a young boy in this team and so on, but do you have any kind of uh, mentors or someone that's been helping you out in the last uh, couple of weeks or last couple of months? Yeah, there's there's a few, actually. Like, obviously, having those three all-black um, loose forwards um, is massive for myself just to learn off. So, Aki, Hoss and Daltz, um, all three of those have really been my mentors ever since they've come back in but I've known um, Luke Romano for a while so when, when I was um, down in Christchurch um, with him so I've known him for about two or three years now and um, he always takes the young boys under his wing and looks after them. Um, Offer's been another good one. I obviously played with his younger brother Issy um, at Tasman and got along really well with him too so he's looking after me. Caleb, obviously he's, whenever I need to laugh I go see him. <laughs> Source is another good one. He's he's a character that, that guy. He gets along with everyone. So this is true. Heaps of names, heaps of names in the team, which is good. So enjoying it. Yeah, very nice. Um, so on onto some silly questions now. We we're going to bring it to some would you rather's, some some little quick fire questions. Okay, so the first would you rather is, would you rather be able to fly, but you have to fly with your eyes closed, or teleport, but you can only go one way. When you say only go one way, so you can teleport. To the chair, but yeah. You have to walk back, but you can you can't go back. So you can teleport to Italy, but so you'd you, have to fly back. You gotta fly back. Oh, oh, teleport, teleport, teleport. Yeah, yeah. No, definitely fair enough. teleport. Yeah, fair enough. yeah, fly, fly with your eyes closed. Maybe is is there a way around that? Not at all. But you don't know where you're going. <laughs> so say you want to go to Italy and you start flying, <laughs> you're, you're gonna end up in Germany. <laughs> Damn it, Germany. Always again, yeah. Fair enough. That, that that's a that's a logical answer. Mm. Killed his answer. Fly right into a red light. Um, socks up or down? Down. D- depending on I how long the, the socks. I would use the excuse that my calves are too big, but <laughs> there's no chance of that. Are you saying rugby socks rugby up or down? Rugby socks uh, up or down? Down. Down. Halfway. Shirts shirt tucked in, eh? Always. Okay, I I do know the story of of, of why your shirt is tucked in, but I, I do want to hear this story actually. Um. So 2019, Ma'anonu was in the team and um, he always had his shirt tucked in. And so when he was leaving, he said, Caleb, just make sure you keep tucking your shirt in and you carry on that legacy. And I was like, 
okay. <laughs> so now I've always had my shirt tucked in, <laughs> even story. at training and stuff. So story. yeah. Uh, so all the time shirt tucked in because of my anone. Yeah, I like that. Uh, do I pass it on? Uh, if I want to, but you mean? know, like uh, Anton pass can pass it on. Right yeah. <laughs> you have to now. Um, if you guys couldn't play rugby, what sport would you like to be uh, a professional in or good at? Rugby league. <laughs> 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 um, Come on, out of the box. Rugby league for the Rabbitohs. I reckon football. <laughs> football. Football. Hundred percent. Grew. I um, grew up around the sport and it's massive mm. all over the world, really. So. Who's your favourite German footballer of all time? Alex Meyer. You probably don't know him, but in Frankfurt, he's yeah. um he's referred to as the football god. Ooh. FC. That's FC, eh? FC. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's like the team is FC something. Yeah. Uh, FC is football club. Yeah, but Frankfurt. Is, is that the red one? Frankfurt's, Frankfurt's the, red. But is it the eagle FC. thing? Yeah, eagle yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, nice. I know my football. Isn't the guy like rated like the, the same rating as Cristiano Ronaldo on FIFA, but the German guy? Frankfurt's not. Oh, I don't know. think Frankfurt's <laughs> When's Cristiano Ronaldo Signing for Frankfurt That's the real question uh, We're talking about Frankfurt But I want to ask Caleb Clark this question mm-hmm. Why in the world Are you a South Sydney Rabbitohs fan? Why are you asking that With so much disrespect Behind that voice? That, that is meant with All disrespect <laughs> All, all sorts What's your of tone? <laughs> no. um, I love the Rabbitohs eh? I was a massive um, Greg Inglis fan ah. Growing up And so Wherever he went I followed And then um, so early 2010s, that's when he moved over to the Rabbitohs and then that's when I just became a real mad Rabbitohs fan and then the Burgess brothers came through um, and that's when I was just like, nah, I'm Rabbitohs and then so once Greg Inglis sort of finished, um, we had the Trail Mitchell jump in and um, that's someone that I, I, I get along with really well, like oh, sort of talk to here and there yeah, about about league and sort of just about life as well. So, yeah, that's sort of why I'm like a massive Rabbitohs fan. So, Rabbitohs, if you need a water boy, hit me up! Don't hit him up. Please! He's staying staying at the Blues. What's your favourite rugby league team, Anton? Um, The Frankfurt Wildcats. (laughs) (laughs) Both my Warriors. (laughs) I don't watch League A. Um, (laughs) Clue. Say the Warriors up the Warriors. Yeah, up the Wars. Up the Wars. The wars. All, all the Blues love to go towards the Wars. I like that. Round two in Super Rugby Pacific. Um, we've got some pretty pretty nice matchups. We've got Crusaders Highlanders. Mm. We've got Waratahs Reds. Mm. Rumbies Drua. Mm. Us and the Hurricanes. Mm. And then the Rebels versus the Force. Wow. Can I get your predictions for Highlanders versus the Crusaders? Ooh, that's a good one. Landers didn't do um, as well as they wanted to do. So I really think they can come back with an upset against the Satyrs. Oh, yes. But then at the same time, I know Satyrs sort of took the foot off the throttle against the Hurricanes, and so I think they really want to put in an 80-minute performance they'll be happy for. So um, I want the Landers to win because I don't like the Crusaders. So <laughs> go the Landers. Go the Landers. I can say they look pretty sharp in their last game, so... Especially the way they closed it out. Yeah. I reckon they might take a bit of momentum out of that. Have you guys Next been uh, keeping an eye, keeping an eye on those Australian teams? Yeah. Especially the draw. There's a few Tassie boys in there, so oh, okay. got to yeah. gotta so, support um, the brothers. Waratahs yeah. Reds. Who, who are we calling for that one? Reds. Yeah. Reds. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, fair Reds. enough. Uh, we've got Brumbies versus Draw. Draw. I really want Draw to win. I love their team, mate. They play with so much razzle. And like, oh, bro. It's just Fiji and Flair, right? Mm-hmm. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. Fiji and Sevens, Fiji and Fifteens. No matter what game they play, they're just throwing things around. Yeah. And I think Waratahs did really well to starve them of the ball. But once they get going... Broken play. I, it's I think hard to stop. Yeah, hard mm. to stop indeed. And then uh, predictions, Blues versus Hurricanes. Um, Anton Signor for Hattrick. <laughs> Wouldn't mind. Hattrick off the bench? Oh, Hattrick off the yes. bench. Baby. Yes, baby. And final game of the round, Melbourne Rebels versus the Western Force. Uh, Rebels, if Marika Kornbeard is playing. I'll go Force. Force? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's in Japan, eh? I don't know. Marika's in Japan, eh? Oh. I'll just go Rebels anyway. <laughs> I know, I know. You guys have been have been itching and, sh- and scratching to come on this podcast. Is there any yeah. question that that you thought I would ask you that I didn't? 
and that that you wished I would have asked him. <laughs> I was gonna say mine, but been culturally inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, fellas, it's been a pleasure having you guys on the, on the show today. Thank you very much. That was the Talk to Me Mice podcast brought to you by Old Mates Barfoot and Thompson. Thank you very much. Give us the house, and, please. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you so much for coming on. And we'll see you guys next week for some more fun blues content with some more dazzling, dazzling superstars. Thank you. Sound Sullivan's on thank next you. time. He was on Stay last tuned. time. Oh, <laughs> come <laughs> <Never> on. <mind. laughs> he wants to come, come on. on. Again.